trying to wake up. <laughs> oh, my eyeballs are not working. Making lots of weird noises. <sighs> so here's what's going on. This morning, struggling to wake up, fighting, fighting. I attempt to wake up, sleep kicks me in the stomach, but finally a thought comes. What happened to Zoo York? When I was going to high school, Zoo York was like a really popular company. And now I'm like wondering, what happened? Are they just out of business? Or did they like just lose popularity? Maybe they're just not cool. I don't know if you guys know who Chaz Ortiz is. He was on track to be like right there with Nigel Houston. Well, maybe he took the Zoo York pill because Zoo York is in the same boat. What even happened? So today I'm gonna take you on a journey and we're gonna figure out everything that happened because I am confused and I'm tired but that's aside from the point we're gonna get through this I promise what happened to zoo your huh? Jenkins coming through with the first article. What the hell happened to Zoo York? Maybe you're old enough to remember a time when Zoo York was the coolest thing in skateboarding east of the Mississippi, but it's no secret that Zoo York of today is far removed from the cherished brand of your. Who wrote this, man? This is the skateboard magazine and they're saying your. Anyway, whatever. Surely you've noticed them backsliding and taint a small brand over the last couple of years. You might have even bought one of their t-shirts on Supercell at Burlington Coat Factory, either out of nostalgia or some optimistic impulse to help them mount a comeback. But if you stumbled upon their Instagram recently, you'll know to abandon all hope that they'll return to their roots. I guess this guy's saying they've kind of like sold out. Even after being sold to Mark Echo in 2001, New York still maintained its gritty ethos and respected roster and well the brand management company Iconics. Zoo's owner since 2011, trimmed much of the skate program down. They still took newer guys on tours, sponsored some events and premieres. RB O'Malley, who filmed Zoo York's defining full length mixtape, was still working on, on video and social media content for Zoo until 2016. O'Malley confirmed there is no Zoo York US team any longer, and Zoo is not currently sponsoring any skateboarders in the US. O'Malley is sad to see where Zoo York is at today. I'm grateful for the ride with New York and everything they've done for me, he said, I spent more than half my life working for this brand and I cared so deeply about it. But don't worry guys, there's hope. And there's another article on shopeatsurf.com that was published on September 3rd of 2019. And it says, New York is back under old management. Iconics Brand Group is tapping the founders of New York to help reinvigorate the brand as part of the new partnership Zoo York founders Rodney Smith and Eli Morgan Gesner and Adam Schatz are returning to Zoo York as creative directors to provide strategic creative design and marketing and industry insight. The founders will help bring the brand back to its street culture roots. These guys really destroyed Zoo York, this Iconics brand management company. But this is like, this is a good idea for like a comeback to just try and tap into like the roots of it all. I don't know, it's like a very sentimental, nostalgic play. We'll see if it works for them. This was only like a year ago that this was written. That is so interesting. Trying to make a comeback, bringing back the OGs. These guys have built Zoo York from the ground up before Iconics ruined it. So it makes a lot of sense to go back to them. All right, finally, we're gonna check out the Zoo York online website in the store, see what's popping. I mean, they're cool. Is this all they sell? Okay. Okay, they've got more products. Check out their decks. Guessing they only have one. No, they've got a bunch. They've got a bunch of decks. They've got a team rider. Colin Armada, Ricky Twohill, Greg Chapman, Declan Mulligan. I've never heard of any of these dudes. Zoo York just have Chaz Ortiz. If you haven't heard of Chaz Ortiz, you need to watch his, it must be nice on the barracks or his banging part. This guy is like one of the most tech but consistent skaters, like all around. Like he does this video for the barracks where he does backside flips everything without falling. Sad, sad story, a sad tale of a company coming in thinking they know something and buying a skateboard company and trying to run a skateboard company like any other business. You have to know your customer and these guys did not and they blew it. But it does look like they're trying to revitalize. It'll be interesting to see what happens going forward from here now that I know what happened to New York. I I can go back to sleep now and that's a happy thought that's pretty much it I'm out of here
If you're still here, you're a true homie.